as I'm in this radio room all alone, that none of them will believe that I have humbled myself to come here and to talk. These are troublesome times. Fighting without, fears within, anything kept all around about us, and then man's foes are those of his own being, his own heart, his own mind, his own flesh. And we fight against that flesh and blood, and we cannot win. Now you think anyone out there is going to say, wow, did you hear what that man <coughs> of God said? Oh, ho, 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 ho. and the old, the old man, <laughs> yes, sir. And no matter how much you tell him, no matter how much you tell him, hardened, stiff-necked, stubborn, lovers of their own self, proud, boasters, blasphemers, disobedient, reject authority, despise dominion. The last generation, I went done. In the beginning, the first generation that God began to deal with now was the generation from Noah, from Adam to Noah. God gave them up. Oh, my God. God gave it up on trying to save America. God gave it up on trying to save humanity because humanity doesn't want to be saved. And he's given it up. I mean, it's Israel, I was thinking about them as I was uh, wayfaring yesterday. How oh, Judah, which is a type of the church, is more treacherous than Israel. God said so. Treacherous. Selfie. Oh, God. Truly, I heard the words of the Apostle Peter on the day of Pentecost saying, Save yourselves! From this unto our generation, falling prey to the snare of the enemy, doing foolish things, and turning away from God. You can say, oh foolish generation, oh foolish Galatians, and they're so foolish that they won't even acknowledge their help. No, that's not God. Uh -uh. I, I can promise you. I can promise you right now that the few that might be hearing me, or the many that are, are sitting in their seat, driving in their cars, squirming, yeah, that's not God. God wouldn't talk like that. No, God. And the fool says, no, God. And, and, and Peter said, not so, Lord. Oh, oh, foolish generation. Oh, God, and it grieved them unto his heart that he made man. I remember some years ago when I was having a very personal attack against 